Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I'm Cantor Andrea Ray Markowitz, and I'm joined tonight by my dear colleague, Rabbi Stephen Stark Lowenstein, with a wonderful community of musicians, as you can see behind me. Um, Kolenu, our adult choir, and Ken Smith, Noah Plotkin, Joey, Sophie. Whether you are physically here in the sanctuary or joining us via the miracle of live stream, we welcome you to Am Shalom. And as we begin to welcome Shabbat into our midst, we take a moment to greet those around us with a Shabbat Shalom. Honoring Israel's 69th birthday tonight as part of the Jewish Music Heritage Series, an initiative to expose and explore the ever-evolving modes of worship and musical expression within the Jewish prayer experience. We welcome two friends of mine all the way from the Galilee in the north of Israel, Feliza Vascara Zohar, prayer and song leader, artist, art therapist, and activist, and Rabbi Or Zohar, musician, reform Kabbalist, and community builder in the reform movement in Israel. It's no secret to our community that while living in Israel, attending my first year of cantorial school, I was blessed to meet and collaborate with some of the most wonderful and inspiring budding rabbis on campus, some of whom were making their mark writing new Jewish-Israeli sacred melodies. From my first listen to Oren Feliz's sacred music album, Lev Tahor, Pure Heart, I became an avid fan. Fresh off the release of their new album, Mikolot Maim, I'm thrilled to welcome them to our house, our home at Am Shalom, so to speak, and to be able to share their special and unique sound and melodies with all of you this Shabbat. From Psalm 84, on the top of page 52, we sing, Ashrei Yoshveve Techa Od Yehalalucha Sela. Happy are those who dwell in your house. They will praise your name forever.
house, in this house of God, we bless God, we thank God. Our joy is overflowing with amazing music and with our phenomenal choir, with wonderful musicians. We can truly lift our spirits to a whole different level. As we light Shabbat candles, page 120, together we say the blessing. Baruch Ata Adonai. try to catch a little of that light. We try to hold some of that light close to us. And in the middle of the Shabbat candles, we lit a memorial candle, thinking of all of our loved ones, but also thinking of those. As we celebrate Israel's 69th birthday, we think about all those who gave their lives so that we could build the Jewish state. And the memorial candle that we lit tonight is actually a bullet casing. And in the middle of the bullet casing is a candle. And so, literally, we're beating our swords into plowshares. We're taking things of, that are dangerous, and we are making them into things of blessing and things of light. Because that is what our journey is really all about. To find that sense of shalom, that sense of peace. And there's no better way to do it than the beauty of Shabbat. The next prayer, which we will sing together, will be on page 95 and before... Sorry, page 130. No, 130, thank you, Canton. And it's Psalm 95. And the leading word in it is Toda. Lechu niranena l'adonai nekadma fanav betoda. So Toda means being grateful. It means being deeply thankful which we are, for being here, traveling half of the world, and meeting friends who are sharing prayer with us. So as we are very grateful for this, I want to ask each and every one of us to add a personal thank you in our hearts so that we can sing this together. Let's find a place where all our thank yous, all our todas meet together.
find the words for Ivdu, Et Hashem Besimchan, that means happiness, as happy as we are to be here. It's very easy, learn it, sing it with us. Thank you, Cantor. We live in a very small village in the Galilee called Hararit. It's at the heart of the Galilee. From our house, there's a view of the Sea of Galilee. Our neighbors see the Mediterranean. And the other neighbors, they have the northern view, and they see Tzfat, where the Chadudis words were written about 500 years ago. And we feel very connected to this beautiful prayer that was um, added to our, to our prayer book back then. It's how the soul awakens and we slowly enter into Shabbat. And I invite all of us to feel that as we learn the new melody. Oh, 
שם ובזכור בדיבור אחד. השמיענו אל המיוחד, אדוני אחד, ושמו אחד, ושם הוא לתפארת ולתהילה. לך דודי, לקראת קלה. something that has dimensions, and yom, which means day. So yamim means both days and space. Adonai le'orech yamim is how we bring our spirit into time and space, creating the sacred space of Shabbat. And you will recognize the, the melody because it will be the same one as the one we sang for Lechun Eranena. Same melody, slightly different arrangement, different words. So let us all check how we're a little bit different and a little bit the same, like since we stepped into the room as we're entering into Shabbat. Nikolot Maim Rabin.
about the Galilee. You can truly relate to that now, having just been in Israel last month with your family, with your grandparents, with your mom and dad and siblings. And how wonderful that you had that honor of reading Torah in Jerusalem. And now you have the honor once again to read Torah here at Am Shalom tomorrow afternoon. Page 148. <laughs> The Hulk Malpotea Shevarim, Uvit Puma Meshame Etim, Umahalif at Hasmanim, Umsoder at Hakohavim, 
Vamish Ma Rotayam, Barakia Kirsona, Bare Yom Vilaila Golea or Mitne Hosha, Bahosha Mitne or Uma Avir Yom Umi Vilaila, Uma Dil Bain Yom Um in Laila, Adonai Seva Ocha Mo, Al Hai Vikayam, Tami Yim of Alainu Lamba Ed, Baruch Ata Adonai. We invite you to take a deep breath, to close your eyes, page 152, 153. No matter where we are in the world, no matter what we're doing, we always find this centering prayer, this one prayer that reminds us that there's only one God, and that God is what makes us one. These beautiful spiritual melodies that we've heard up till this moment kind of open for us that path on our own unique journey to find our own unique relationship with God. A deep breath. Shema Join with Joey, page 154. stands before God, before Havaya, before existing in this sacred dialogue. And it is no uh, coincidence maybe that our ancestors have said that in this time of the, in the prayer we need to remember uh, Exodus and how we go through um, into a freedom. And uh, that is usually the Micha Mocha, the thing that's, which they sang at the sea, at the shore. Uh, which we are also doing. So today there will be going to be a slightly alternative Micha Mocha. Uh, hallelujah Mima Makim it's called. Hallelujah. It's on the page. Yes. Hallelujah for that. So we all know Hallelujah. And Mima Amakim, great word with the Ayn. Hallelujah Mima Amakim. That means from the depths. Out of the depths I sing Hallelujah. So... 
Sometimes we have to cross through our own ma'amakim to find the hallelujah. So we will sing hallelujah, mi ma'amakim, hallelujah. It's shirat halev, the song of the heart, nishmat chayim, breath of life, hallelujah. Not a lot of words, we can all sing it together. And that will be our micha mocha in this holy prayer tonight together. So I, I want to just interject one thing. Yes. Which is that this is, this was, at least when I was in Israel, it was like the song. I, I, you must have sung this ad nauseum because it really just was that, that thing that got everyone, that prayer that got everyone up and, um, and sort of in that dancing spirit that we find in Micha Mocha as Miriam and Moses and the Israelites cross that sea of reeds. Well, if anybody wants to stand and dance or not stand in the way, <laughs> it's a free country, right? So, um, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mi mamakim. Hallelujah, mi mamakim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, mi mamakim. Ah, actually sit down and they can write music and they can put all those pieces together to create the amazing prayers, the amazing music that you've created with different instruments and all the words all coming together. It's a, a true art, a true talent and we're so glad to have you here to witness this and to be part of this. But every once in a while, even throughout the arc of a prayer service, we need to find something that is familiar, something that settles us, 
something that reminds us that God, that God is there to help us from the depths, the depths that you just spoke about. So many times we're in those depths and we need that help. And that every time, every time we look to God, we can find that strength, that courage, that perseverance to take that next step. No matter what we're experiencing this week or last week or what's going to happen next week, we know that we have that power within us to take that next step. One step forward and one step after that. Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Shalom. God, spread your shelter of peace over us, over all Israel, over Jerusalem, over the Galilee, and over all the world. Page 160. Yesterday, Salisa gave a most amazing course in embodied prayer and movement. And this next prayer was one that we explored in this class, in this workshop. And the idea was thinking about the ways that we move, the ways that the, the, the bowing that we might do, the stepping that we might do, and in particular, in this opening that we have, this very personal opening, Adonai sefatai tiftach ufi yagi tehilatecha. God, open my lips that my mouth will declare your praise. There's a tradition that we take three steps backwards, away from the place that we just were. And then we step back into that spot, somehow new again, ready to begin the central part of our prayer service, Atpila.
be seated. On the top of page 173, we read together. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. We take a few moments for our own personal prayers, adding the words of our hearts to the words that we say together as a community. There's so many different ways that we can offer the Misha Barak prayer and so many different reasons. Today I received a call from a granddaughter whose grandmother was dying. She was out of town and said, I please go to Whitehall. And in between appointments, I ran over and said the appropriate prayers and gave her permission. And an hour later, I got a call that she had transitioned at 100 years of age, a long and full life. But as I stood over with her, I didn't say the Mishavara. I said the Shema, I said so many other prayers. Because at that moment, I knew for her family that it was a different type of healing that they needed. <coughs> healing of body, healing of spirit. There are so many different ways to offer the prayers. Rabbi Or Zohar shared with me today a new prayer, a new Mishaberach that he wrote. 
a very special prayer that takes El Na Rafana La, the beautiful, beautiful words that Moses prayed, five words Moses prayed when his sister was sick, he prayed for healing. Please God, heal her now, is what he said. In those short, simple words, we pray for healing. But then Orr shared with me an amazing story of being a, a congregational rabbi in Tel Aviv and dealing with a member of his congregation who was a heroin addict and how to find healing and how to find the comfort. And for this congregant, he found comfort in the serenity prayer. <clears throat> the prayer that we know God grant me the center serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. The wisdom to know the difference. And so we find our own unique way to pray for everyone that we know in need of healing. Whether it's physical healing or spiritual healing, whether it's the healing that they need as they transition from this world to the next, whether it's the healing that we need after a year of mourning, someone that we love so much, whether it's the healing for those who struggle mentally and physically, spiritually or emotionally, whether it's the healing of the loss of someone that we love or a congregant in the hospital or undergoing treatment. If you have the name of anyone that you're specifically thinking of at this moment, I ask you to call out those names for those in need of healing. So we invite you to So we invite you thinking about all those names that we just heard, all those names that we hold close to our hearts. We invite you to listen to a most beautiful, a most beautiful Misha Barak.
I cannot change. God grant me the courage to change the things I can. And God grant me the wisdom. to the part of the service on page 570, where we count the Omer. During this period of time between the second day of Pesach leading all the way up to Shavuot, we count up the days leading up from that moment of redemption all the way up to the moment of revelation at Mount Sinai. It's a great time of year to keep track of the days, to think about each day to remember, to count each and every night. Some people see the Omer as a period of restriction, but I love to see it as a time to study and to learn and to grow and to give. In our house, we are placing an object each day of the Omer in a box, um, a can of food or um, a package of diapers went in there, all things that we're going to, at the end of the 50-day period, donate to our local food pantry. Because we see that it's such a blessing and opportunity to keep track of each and every day that truly is for us a gift. So I invite you to turn to page 570, where we stand together, we don't, you don't have to stand, we together as a community are standing together to count the Omer. And so I invite you to read with me there in the beginning um, the English line that says we are ready. So you'll read with me. I am ready to fulfill the mitzvah of counting the Omer. And then we say the bracha, and then we'll announce the day, which is at the top of your um, service supplement. I'll give you a hit. It's the 25th um, day. So we're going to say the bracha together, and then I'll say it in Hebrew, and then we'll all together um, say the counting in English. So join with me. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav b'tzivanu al svirat ha'omer. Our priest, you Adonai, sovereign of all, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to count the omer. Hayom esrim v'chamesh yom shaham shlosha shavuot ve'arba. Arba? Did I get that right? Arba yamim la'omer. Today is the 25th day, which is three weeks and four days of the Omer. So we are counting. Every day is special. Every day we count. And we're at an amazing moment in the Jewish calendar. We just observed Yom Hatzma'ut. Just this week, we observed Israel's 69th birthday. And next month, almost a month from today, we observed the 50th anniversary of the Six-Day War. 50 years since the Six-Day War. And some say that it was the Six-Day War with three armies that ready to attack that literally wanted to wipe Israel off the map. And in six days, Israel changed forever. In six days, amid amazing strength, captured Jerusalem. The Temple Mount was in our hands for the very first time. It was ours. And so, we build towards that moment of commemorating the Six-Day War in just a few weeks. And that's why this Shabbat is so special. In between Yom Ba'ud and, and Shavuot, and then the commemoration of 
50 years since the Six Day War, that we dedicate this whole service to incredible music from Israel, or in Feliza. I've been thinking about your names all day. Or, like, Feliz in so many different languages means joy. Light and joy, that's exactly what you do. You bring light and joy to so many in your congregation, your amazing family, and your community. And I have to tell you, I was so touched by your story of meeting and then going to Israel, Feliza, and staying in Israel and making Israel your home and then reconnecting with the guy on your left. <laughs> How amazing. And it was music that brought all of this together. And we hope that you'll continue to make music and, and share your music with congregations in America and in Israel and around the world because you guys are, you're on that comet, you're on that, you're, you're, you're the rising stars that we're looking for in the movement that's writing such incredible music to inspire all of us. So we welcome you back, or you've been here before, we welcome you back. We know that both of you will be here again and again to share your music and to share your passion, to share your love. And as we look to the two of you, we know that Israel truly is that amazing melting pot of so many different feelings, so many different emotions, so many different cultures all coming together. Amen. Amen. O oh Lord my God, I pray that these things never end. The sand and the sea, the rush of the waters, the crash of the heavens, and the genuine prayers from our own hearts. Because what we heard tonight are, is genuine prayer from our own hearts. <laughs> died in the last 30 days or whose anniversary of their death occurs at this time and at this season and maybe it's been one year or maybe it's been two weeks maybe it's been 25 years that the time doesn't matter what matters is that we remember and so we observe Shloshim for Elaine Lipman Alexa Rose Weiss Shirley Ann Weisenthal Paul Horwitz Flora Blumenthal Atkin, whose funeral will take place in Washington, D.C. on Sunday. John W. Marcus, who was buried this week. Rita Diamond, whose funeral will take place on Tuesday. And Melvin Goodman, a good man, uh, who served our country with distinction, a wonderful father, a wonderful human being buried this week in Los Angeles. May his memory be a blessing. May his family remember him and never forget. As well, we remember those whose anniversary occurs at this time and at this season. Barbara Amder, Steve Amder, William Annixter, Michael Block, Harris Block, Edward Blumenthal, Herschel Braun Bornstein, Esther Jean Brewer, Rose Cable, Bernard Citron, Blossom Collins, Melba Conti, 
Hannah Cutler, Ruth Damar, Millie Desser, Edith Didiep, Leo Felsenthal, Mil Mildred Firestone, Harry Friedman, Morton R. Gershenow, Helene Goldberg, Phyllis Goldish, Abe Goldman, Robert Goldstein, Reverend William Henslick, Ida Hollander, Harvey Cahan, Robert Cates, Martin Katz, Burton Klein, David Kreider, Harriet Lebeau, Jack Langer, Esther Levine, Leo Levy, Charles Metz, Beatrice Morris, Ben Pekin, Jules M. Pearlberg, Joseph Perlman, Morris Picklin, Dorothy Freeman Pacross, Catherine Schrader, Rose Ceylon, Emmanuel Shapira, Irv Small, Sanford E. Smith, Bertram Allen Stone, Sherwin Stone, Ray Weimer, Beth Shapiro Weinstein, Morris Winter. To the family of Michael Block, we ask that you all please stand. A good man, a kind man, and as you come together on his first yard site, may his memory truly be a blessing. As well, we rise as one congregation, remembering all those special people, especially thinking of today, the victims of violence in Cook and Lake Counties, Alfred Stovall, Xavier Soto, Adrian Neves, Joanta McComb, Tareen Tyler, David Haynes, Edgar Romero, Ulysses Hood, Diane McTurner, Javier Quayne, and two American soldiers who died, their names have not been released. Honoring the memories of all those who have come before us, if you have the name of anyone you'd like to include, I ask you to call out that name. Page 598, we say the words of Kaddish together. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shamei rabah be'alma di'rach yiruteh be'amlif ma'vuteh v'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayeh d'kol v'yit Yisrael v'agala v'itzman kari v'yibru l'ami yehei shnei rabah m'vorach le'olam o'mei o'mai yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitfahar v'yitroman v'yitnaseh Vid Hadar Vid Taleb Vid Tala Shmei Kucha Brifu La Ela Min Kol Birkata Vishirata Tush Bakata Vadakamata Damiran Belma Vim Ru Ami Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shamaya Vachayim Alenu Bel Kol Yisrael Vim Ru Ami Use Shalom Vimroma Hu Yase Shalom Alenu Bel Kol Yisrael Amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort all who are bereaved among us. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Jody. Yes. <laughs> Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam HaMotzi Lehem In HaRetz Amen Logan and uh, Joey, come on up here. Congratulations. Tomorrow's going to be an awesome day. We give you the Sadaka box to remember this moment to shine tomorrow and to give generously to all those in need. And to remember the great music you heard tonight. Please join us in the, in the chapel for our fourth grade amazing Israel art show. For those of you who are staying for dinner, a special Israeli dinner, join us in the crown room. And a closing song. All right. So, uh, we well, first of all, I just want to thank everyone for coming to this special Shabbat service tonight. And also everyone again for for joining together and collaborating, all of our, our, um, our regulars here on the Bima and our special guests joining us. And I will turn over to the closing song. Yes, so uh, if you want, maybe we can stay all standing up for this we one. We can, page 576. Yes. And, 
Yes, and, and it, just to let you know, this is Psalm 23 that is often read in, in cemeteries. However, it is really a Shabbat tune. It's a Shabbat tune? It is. Even though it has this verse, as I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I shall fear no evil, etc., which is why it's used in cemetery. Uh, traditionally, Ashkenazi as well as Sephardi Jews think of it as a as a as a psalm when we actually celebrate our cup which overfloweth and the abundance that we have in Shabbat. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. I do not need to consume anything to run around because I have everything I need in this Shabbat rest. So Sephardi Jews actually sing it as part of their kiddush, which is what we're doing now. We just did. And uh, yes, and. And because it's both Sephardi and Ashkenazi traditions, and we weren't sure when we reached style to compose it, we chose reggae, which is neither. It's neutral, it's happy, and we're all going to sing it together. So once again, thank you very much. We're thank so honored so and happy and privileged to be with all of you here. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom. And we shall conclude this with Mizmor le David, Adonai ro'i lo echsar. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Feel free to move in your... If you want to dance a little bit, it's also good. <laughs>
Tanner Markowitz. Jewish Music and Heritage Shabbat is our amazing experience here at Am Shalom to bring different kinds of music to the congregation. And tonight was amazing. Thank you to our choir, to our instrumentalists, to Ken Smith, to Orna, and a huge thank you to Tanner Markowitz. Shabbat Shalom. Please join us for dinner.